It's Friday, February 8th, and we are wrapping up the fifth week of the 83rd Texas Legislature's regular session. I'm Daniel Williams, field organizer and legislative specialist with Equality Texas. The Texas Legislature meets on odd-numbered years for 140 days, so we're 32 days down and 108 to go. On Monday, the House began referring bills. This is an important step towards any bill becoming a law. Each bill is referred to a different committee, and each committee deals with a different subject area. If the bill is ever to become a law, a majority of the members of whatever committee the bill went to must agree that it is a good idea. Three House bills important to the LGBT community were referred this week. HB 201 by Rafael Anchi of Dallas would allow children in Texas with two moms or two dads to have both their parents' names on their birth certificate. It was referred to the Judiciary and Civil Jurisprudence Committee. HB 238 by Mike Villarreal of San Antonio would allow the Texas Workforce Commission to investigate and pursue employment discrimination against the LGBT community. Currently, such discrimination is perfectly legal in the state of Texas. HB 238 was sent to the Economic and Small Business Development Committee. HB 226 would prohibit discrimination based on gender identity or expression or sexual orientation in insurance. It went, not surprisingly, to the Insurance Committee. Now, this bill is by my personal favorite diva, Chairwoman Sophronia Thompson of Houston. You can keep your Beyonce's, you can keep your Madonna's. I will take the Divine Miss T any day of the week. Can't wait for her Super Bowl performance. Uh, if you're on our email list and live in the district of any of the lawmakers on these committees, you should be receiving an email from us asking you to contact your representative and to make these bills a priority. If you're not on our email list, then go to EqualityTexas.org and sign up today. Of course, the big news that everyone is talking about this week is the introduction of House Joint Resolutions 77 and 78 by Representatives Rafael and Chia of Dallas and Garnett Coleman of Houston, respectively. If either piece of legislation passed, it would put a proposal on next November's ballot asking the people of the state of Texas if they want to repeal the 2005 amendment to the state's Bill of Rights prohibiting the freedom to make. Mary. That's right. In the irony of all ironies, Texas's prohibition against the freedom to marry is contained in, of all things, the State Bill of Rights. Representative Coleman has filed this legislation every regular session since 2007, and Representative Von Chia has been a vocal ally of the LGBT community for years. It's exciting to see these two leaders working to repeal this exclusionary law. In order to pass, the joint resolutions need to garner two-thirds of the 150 votes in the Texas House, or 100 votes, and two-thirds of the 31 votes in the Texas Senate, or 21 votes. HJR 77 and 78 seek to overturn HJR 6 from 2005. This is the legislation that proposed the amendment to the State Bill of Rights in the first place. When it passed in 2005, it did so by only the thinnest of margins. HJR 6 passed with only two votes in the House and by only one vote in the Senate. So just one senator with a cold that day, and this particular piece of discrimination would not be enshrined in our Constitution. Representative Warren Chisholm, the author of HJR 6, said that passing it was the most difficult thing he accomplished in his 24-year legislative career. So if either HJR gets 100 votes in the House and 21 votes in the Senate, and then a majority of Texas voters approve the proposed constitutional amendment in November, we'll have the freedom to marry in Texas, right? Uh, not quite. Because in 2003, two years before passing HGR 6, the legislature passed SB 7, the Texas Defense of Marriage Act, which put a similar prohibition against the freedom to marry in Section 6.204 of the Family Code. So HJRs 77 and 78 are just one part of the puzzle, but a very important part. I can also tell you that Equality Texas is working with one of our strongest allies in the House right now, and I am very confident that we will see a bill to repeal Family Code Section 6.204 this session, which will be the first time legislation of this nature has been introduced. Join us this Tuesday in Houston for a legislative debrief. And don't forget that Equality Texas Lobby Day is Monday, March 11th. We need your help to put these and other issues squarely in front of the 181 members of the legislature. So please, make every effort to attend. 
You can find more information on these and other events at EqualityTexas.org under the Events tab. Until next week, I'm Daniel Williams, field organizer and legislative specialist with Equality Texas.